So now, uh, hide all the non-smoke layers, including the grenade. Uh, merge visible layers. Now you can show them again, but you really only need the grenade and maybe the background, just so it's not transparent. Uh, alpha to selection the smoke. Now go to select, or no, get a black foreground color. Select, stroke, selection. Oops, that's in edit. Think. There we go. Edit, stroke, selection with a two pixel line. A solid color. Just stroke it. Then go select none. And it's kind of rough. You can use the pass tool. I'm just doing it really quickly. I actually prefer to use the pass tool. Uh, just because it looks really ragged right there. The pastel will be more smooth. So now that we have that, take your brush tool. Get a really small brush, at about 0.25 maybe. And then just add some more smoke details like that. Just to make it more cartoony. There we go. That should be fine for what we're doing right now. So once we have that, we're going to make some more of those uh, little splat things. So create a new layer blow your grenade lip and then just make some just make some weird, weird splats however you want it and then for this one we're not going to be using blue we're going to be using a yellow so I'm going to use the FFF000 color fill it with that uh, select none uh, filters and then just redo everything you just did just like you have been doing I'm sorry that should have been lighter sorry about that Oops. Should put it there. and once you have one of these grenades done just duplicate it and don't duplicate, don't merge down the uh, splat layers with the grenade layer just yet. Uh, duplicate the just the grenade layer and then make different splats for each one. You don't have to, but I prefer just to give it a little uh, variety. Uh, different colors, different shapes, whatever. And then another thing I'm going to be doing, the last part of this tutorial, is just uh, sizing these up to give them a like a distance effect. Oops. Shoot. Okay. Oh no, I didn't do the wrong thing. Just forgot to delete the layers. Okay. Now just finish off with the satin with a really dark yellow. There we go. We have one splat. You can make as many as you want. Make quite a bit. It just looks better. So now merge down these splat layers. There we go. Merge visible layers. And then show everything. There. Now what you're going to want to do is uh, duplicate just the grenade and do it like that. Just make a bunch of different grenades with different splats. But I am just going to, uh, let's see, merge down these ones right here. Just uh, the smoke, the grenade, and the uh, splat for the grenade. This is splat. Hmm. Even when I can't find things. Okay, apparently it's already there. Okay, so I must have messed up somewhere, but no time to go back now. So zoom out so you can see the whole image, just show everything. And so far, this is what we got. And you should probably have more grenades than that. Okay. And that isn't there. 
Uh, one second. Oh, I did it to the background lamp. Shoot. Oh well. Yep, I did it to the background layer. Okay, so I'll just keep the grenade there. Okay. I'm really sorry about that. I, uh, haven't done this too many times. I've only done it about twice. Okay. Okay, then once you have all these merged down decently, okay, now we should have not too many main layers. Now hide the grenade layer and merge down all the gun and its uh, little splatter layers. So we have two layers. And then, and of course the background layer, so it would be three layers. So now take your grenade layer duplicate it twice or it, well I'm duplicating it twice you should probably have three already take the uh, rotate tool and then rotate one probably about negative fifteen ish move it down here behind the gun then take the next uh, grenade layer, rotate it, maybe the other way. Doesn't really matter much. Then take the move tool, move it right about here, right, probably a little lower. Okay, under the gun. Okay, now take your last grenade layer, and you can just leave it like that if you want. I'm just going to size it up a bit just to give it the effect that it's getting bigger. and then rotate it a tiny bit. There. And then once you have that, you're going to want to take your back grenade layer, your first one, go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, oops, filters, blur, okay, blur about five. Just to give it that faded out effect. Now take your next or your top one, blur that by five, and yeah, five. And you have your kind of effect here. You can also blur this one. If you're gonna blur this one, don't blur it as much. This one right here. Just blur by about three. Okay, and here we go. We have our basic uh, gun vector. Uh, tutorial or finished product and this is the tutorial for it. I am sorry for the poor quality in this. I've only done this about two times so I'm not I'm not perfect at it. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you liked it. And this is a gift with tutorial. I'll see you next time.